Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So welcome to the Blue Moon Championship at Bryn Awalon. I'm gonna go with that as far as the pronunciation. I'm guessing, you know, it's some Irish or Scottish inspired course. It is listed as fictional. Uh, started to play a little bit and was doing decently and so was like, you know, I'm just gonna jump in and play the rounds I need to play for week six here in the tournament. So the unknown that we have is, uh, because again, when I can start playing them, which is on a Sunday, I jump in and, and start doing that. And sometimes I get them all done, sometimes I just get some done, we'll just, we'll see how it goes. But that means that things aren't finalized because I think any promotion day or whatever takes place on Monday. There's a possibility that I'll be in a different flight and I won't know what that is. And in the end, I mean, I just need to play and I need to play my butt off and I need to get as well as I can. And it doesn't really matter which flight I'm in. It just changes the competition level. So the only reason I'm bringing that up is I did do really well in the promotional event, if you saw that. At least I would say I did really well. I mean, I certainly wasn't like, ooh, I'm incredible. I mean, there was somebody, I think, that had like negative 62, so... They were 50 strokes ahead of me, so obviously they're a lot better. I still did quite well compared to where I was at, so my guess is I'm probably going to get moved from Flight L somewhere else. Um, I suppose the benefit that gives me is if I do struggle, it's going to take longer to fully fall out of the tour because basically I'll have a few flights, you know, or a flight or two to fall through. So I don't know where I'll end up, but in any event, let's jump in here. Okay, so course details, uh, two T-types will be at black T's the whole time. I mean, I would be amazed if they put us at the white T's at any point. Um, it's already rel a relatively short course, as you can see, and because of that, it's not a par 72, it's a par 70. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, here it says difficulty easy. On the website it's a difficulty medium. I did look at Glades Branch, the one from the week before that we said was harder than the promotion event course, and that one did say on the website that that was a hard difficulty course. Um, it's just making the cut on that and all, I feel pretty good. Green speed here is pretty wicked. 7.8, but fairways and greens stay firm as they tend to seem to be for default in almost any courses that TGC selects. So black tees is expected. All right, low wind and everything else is at default. Hello and welcome to this society event. My name is John. Our round begins with a par four. All right, and I had, and it was a pretty high wind in the test round I did. It was like 13 to 15 miles an hour. And I played, I think, through the fourth hole or so, or got to the fourth hole. Like, I didn't play a lot. Hopefully this won't be bad, but once again, I played the entire promotional event without a practice round and did the best I've ever done. Which, as I've said, if I'm solid on my uh, timing and all that, I should be able to do that. I shouldn't require practice rounds or whatever. I should just be able to go out on the course and play. <laughs> you know, you knew that was going to happen. Um, it's worse than my practice round, which was a. Um, it was a. Which we call it. Um, it was a fast, but it went way out into the rough and um, really made it hard for me. So this is actually, honestly, better. All right, still got a fast, but we'll be in the fairway. So yeah, I I went like 95 yards on my second shot um, before. So yeah, I'm in much better shape than I was before. Um, so let's see, it's gonna move a little bit that way with the lie. And I ended up with a triple bogey on this in my practice round. So unless I really blow this, <laughs> it shouldn't be okay, what I have stable. here. So, um, but let's see. Got 
Come on. Oh, awesome. I was just hoping to be close, and I'm like, hey, if I have a bogey. So, um, anyway. So, always good, always good to have a good start. And yeah, that post in the center, I noticed that when I played, but I've seen courses like that. Like, I actually think I played on one in real life that had stuff like that. I've absolutely played on courses in real life where they have, like, just thin PVC pipes hammered in at, like, 150 yards to the, to the green and stuff. Um, again, probably not really good quality courses, but I, I have played on courses like that. This is a little different. It looks like a full signpost. All right, so second tee shot, not terrible, but all right, it worked out. I'm like, okay, it could always uh, roll off because it's somewhat a crowned fairway. You could see it was just high in the center and then uh, lower everywhere else. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna pretty much hit straight on here. Oof. Well, will we stay? We will stay. All right. Okay, don't worry about it. We'll be on the green I'm gonna worry about it because that was that like. was pretty crappy. Come on, let's be honest. That was not great. Oh, that was even worse. I mean, it ended up okay, but man, that was ugly. Very ugly. This one's tracking. Ooh, oh. shoot. Hmm. Be nice to get this one. This one's for bogey. All right. Well, there's my right, bogey. To the next. Probably deserved. Andrew sitting at one over for the round. Because I did. It now was was kind of sloppy. So. All right. What is happening? All right. Well, this is bad. Well, that this is do. not what I had going on. Um, all right. 60, 12, 15 back. That would put me at 42. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all, Sam. I am. All right, it worked out, but man, that was well done. that was not good. Um, all right, gonna move a bit, but not a lot. Oh come on! No, really. Here we go for the bogey. So far, so good. Oh my goodness! That one drops. That's uh, two bogeys back to back. So let's crank things up a notch on the next one. All right. All right. Two over par well, again, we can't do anything Here we go. Par five ahead to of fix things, happens. so we just need to play well going forward. That's good. Beautiful. That'll do nicely. That will do nicely. The second shot on the fourth. Hmm. That's too far, I think, although, hmm, what do we do? Because it's the difference between a wood and an iron. A wood's going to have a lot of roll. Not that an iron won't, but, um, man. All right, I'm going to just leave it this way. All right. Solid, other than the slow, which pulls me the wrong direction. But we did end up on the green. For now, Godspeed, my friend. Very long putt ahead. Yeah, this is a very long putt. A little bit of a crest, but not quite. So it's more uphill than it is down. But I definitely don't want to go really far. Yeah, All right. That went right by. I mean, that was a really right, good putt. So tap this in and move to the next. Right. Well, and just one stroke over I eagled this hole in my practice, so and that was kind of what what put me on. I'm like, you know what? I just need to. I I don't need to waste a ground that's going well. Ooh. All right. Ooh. ooh, ooh. All right. We're gonna we're gonna do this, and we're gonna see if this works out for me. 
Yes. All right. Well, That's we got a swing. good shot. What kind of roll are we going to get? Oh, way too far. Way too far still. That's what I was worried about. Currently, let's uh, be careful with that chip. All right. So I'm not going to quite roll it fully back. All right. Solid stroke. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Really? Third shot. Man, I thought that roll was beautiful. And then it does that to me. You're just, you're just a tease. Let's see. We're we gonna get lucky. Oh yeah. Thank Second, you. Second I like the way this is going. No, that that was. And after that, you'll go down. I mean, again, I, I obviously have to read the greens, so I get it's not this fully luck, but I mean, at that distance, it's like everything's got to. Everything's got to click. I mean, so let's let's not fool ourselves. All right. Um, I think approach. should Heading be okay. Right. Should be okay. Wow. Safe approach. Nice. Ter terrible kickoff. Way, way too far of a. To go. Way too far of a bounce. Okay, downhill. This is gonna go. Might be too hard. Uh, it's not. It didn't break as much as I was thinking it would. Wow. Come on, ball. Be a deer and come back onto the green. Come on. I mean, these fast greens are—they're just rough. Come on, come on, come on! Oh. Here comes a four-footer. Okay, in Shoot. there with. The bogey. Give one back up again. Just one over at the moment. All right. All right. Let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Okay. Par four. Really? I was thinking about it too. I'm like, like I need and to do better. Second shot on the seventh. We didn't. All right, where are we going to end up here? 132. And we are back in the fairway. Okay. This is going to this is me tough to get there. I mean again, as good a swing as I could have, but up that hill, that's a long way. I mean, that was a good attempt, but Okay, from the green side rough. You know, again, I'm I'm pushing Okay, so I'm definitely not going to give it any kind of roll. Not that I need to from here. All right. Hey, I'm liking that one. Nice, nice chip. But another bogey. And now we're teeing it up on the eighth. All right. I was beginning to wonder if we were going to have a par five at all. I mean, it's kind of crazy, honestly. Ah. Uh, oh, come on. Get me. Oh, really? Let's get out of this. This is like at least get me to the fairway. But no, it did not. Darn it. That's where I should have been on my first shot. This one's your third. Mm. God, I hate that. I really hate that. All right, we're going to push it back some. Hmm. Lie moved me over more than I thought. We're also obviously yeah, drifting more than I thought. So now it's just, again, trying to save par and not blow stuff too badly. Oh, that is too far away. Par putt. Not doing well here. Come on, huh? Oh, man. It's a good shot, though. Good luck here. Nine feet away. This putt's tracking. 
Really? Well, oh, it's going right by the hole. And now, yes, we're going to hit the hill and we're just going to go. Well, let's just try to sink this one for the double bogey. This one's hurting. Ah, no. All right, so this is going to be a solid... Triple bogey on our scorecard. This is a solid uh, test now. Can I make this a reasonable round? Alright, we're having one of these where our timing is okay, just gone. Let's see what you got. Which sucks because when that happens, it's really hard to get. Okay, Sometimes it's just away. really hard to get it back. And we're about 130 yards to the pin from here. All right, good solid swing. That's right. Come on. Little too far to the left. Uh. We're on the green with that one. Well done. 24 feet okay. from the cup. I think it's going to drift back a little. Come on. Oh, come on. Get in. Thank you. What an effort from way out there. All right. That is that's big, but I need I need some birdies. I need to bring this back down. I mean, if not too par, I need to get really close to par. So Let's not kid ourselves. All right, that's important because again, it's a par three, so I cannot be playing. Don't you dare! Nothing Just wrong with that. All right. safely on the green, and sink this next putt, and you'll grab that birdie. Yeah. Ooh, just, just missed. Three feet to go. Okay, let's head to the next. All right, so again, um, you know, since I hadn't played the course through, I don't know for sure if it didn't have wind, but I had a pretty wind? Water. Um, <laughs> that it didn't have water, but I was pretty sure it did not. All right, that is crucial. Again, I cannot have a par 5 shank and, and have any shot here. We set up from the elevated position here. All right, I am going to go down. Oh, I don't like the location. Too far to the right on the approach, I think. Yeah, otherwise I think it wasn't bad, but man. Oof. That one hurts. All right, just roll close. Not bad. Here we go, 10 feet away. What's this going to do? You're kidding me. God, I cannot believe that did not give it to me. This one's on a good line. Don't you dare. And the putt drops there is your par. I'm like that thing rolled straight past the hole. There's no way that thing should drift over. I don't care what the beads are doing. I mean, clearly it, it rolled. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, we're going to do a little bit of that. Great swing on that one. Mm, yeah, it's not bad. It's not gr great. I'm not sure I'd call it, but but you go ahead and do oh, that. Yeah, that was a tidy little shot. Well done. All right. Here's an 11 footer. Oh, it's getting there. All right, good path. Grab that I'm like, the thing that's going to blow this is me making a just a terrible putt path because I'm panicked or tense or whatever. I mean, again, I'm definitely tense. Um, and again, I've established like that. That's bad. I I need to not do that. I just need to play. All 
Alright, I'm not sure with the 40 feet if we really have a shot at this, and we really don't. Okay. Hmm. Height's not bad, though. Six feet only, so... It's basically to the top of my head, kind of like what we're seeing. So I might go up a couple clubs just to do so. Let's see. Was that a good call? I'd say that was a Way good call. That one close. Well done. Boom. And that's your fourth birdie of the day. All right. So and far, I'm doing what I need to be doing, which Here is good. Comes a par four. I mean, I'm, you know, you're going to have errors, you know, unless you're magical. And even Tiger Woods has errors, but. It's how you recover from those errors that determines how well you do. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're setting up about right, so we can yards definitely up. go back to normal. And we're going to pull back. It's going to kick a bit, so I'm going to go over because I've been kind of underdoing it. And I'm like, you know what will happen. There we go. Exactly that. Head Not only will I do rough. that, but then I do a... That's gonna miss the green. A slow on top of it to even make it add shot. insult to injury. Ah, really? Setting up here for your fourth. I don't like this. Nah, it's not gonna move in quite enough. Darn it. Well, nothing you can do about it now. Let's pop the bogey, putt in, and move on. All right. Nicely. Four over par for the day. And definitely, if I get, if I get bounced up a few flights, like this is going to be a miserable result at this point if it kind of sticks around here. There are a lot of par threes, it seems. Might be going a bit long here. Yeah, just a bit. We're not going to get a whole roll back. Well, I thought that one was going long, but uh, you ended up with just a long putt. You're on the green? Dude, oh, okay. it went long. All right, let's get a birdie and get out of here. What Don't do be say? stupid. It went long. I hit it light. Uh, too light. And about five feet to go. I just did not want to drift by. This putt's going. All right. Nicely played. Again, par three sometimes just leaving with a par is a victory. Because unless you get just an awesome tee shot that puts you within like 10 feet, it's just hard. I mean, it's just hard. That's that's what it is. Ah. I had hopes. I know, it might bounce. It might bounce, but... No, we didn't get the distance. The fast didn't help me there. The All right, definitely flop. Definitely flop time. Hopeful, hopeful. All right. This would be nice to get for birdie. Wow, that is a lot. Oh, that shot Almost too play. hard, but it worked. And that Oof. you at three over for the day. Alright. This is probably the borderline of where I'd say it's like respectable. Being four or five over, it's too much. I mean I really do want to be lower, but um you know, we'll see. Again, I think we've got another par three is Ooh, what, what we're dealing right, with please. here. Uh, okay. And that'll do. Grab your putter. Okay, here's a 24-footer. And this is downhill. Uh, it broke a lot, but wow. And even oh, even no, hitting no. it really light, you saw what it did. Wow. I'm looking at right here where the ball is. I think the break's pretty substantial. Looking good. 
All right. And the putt drops. There's your par. Again, par three. Okay, three over par. Three and again, with a with a par 72 or 70 instead of a Let's 72. Start to wind things down here. Um, you'd kind of expect a maybe a one or two extra. Be a good result off the tee here. Mm, made it to okay, 350. We may need a little more club than normal here. That green is elevated. All right, I am gonna gonna leave it there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Second guessing myself, but we'll see. <laughs> Doesn't matter when you do that. Shoot. Good news is at least I got rid of most Setting of the elevation now. change Four there. Shot. All right. Okay, that's solid. What kind of bounce are we gonna get? Really? Well, better luck huh. next time. And this one's your fourth. Hmm, that stinks. Nope. Oh my god, this, this is... Much left to save par uh, on this one. I guess it's not as bad as it looked. Looking pretty good. The way it broke in that last with moment, that I'm like, yow. With a par, good stuff. <sighs> so, yeah, you get rid of that triple bogey, that I'm at par. So... You don't even have to get rid of the other bogeys, so really was that one hole that is just a problem. But we can see again, it's just, you know, people do a negative 18. Once again, these are not players. Like, like I know that Vilzu player, He's they've won, they won the promotional event this week. So they are like, they're, they're not in my flight at all. So like when we're looking at these, you know, that's the thing. You're not, like this is everybody that you're competing against. So, um, you know, in theory, if I'm tied for 69, you know, again, it is early, so I'm sure we'll have hundreds that will play, and I probably won't stay there, but, you know, it's certainly better than I have have done. I mean, and the good news is, at least I feel like I'm starting to kind of settle in a little bit to uh, maybe a, a slight level up of play. Um, you know, I, I did the round where I made the cut for the first time did really well in the promotional event um, so you know maybe I'm, I'm starting to put some of those nerves behind me I need obviously a good second round I mean what I don't want to do is be doing the plus eight plus nine or worse in my first round and then all I'm doing is like hoping that I can claw back uh, strokes I mean I still would like to claw back some strokes in the second round but we're not looking at, oh, I need a, a six under or something that really is, is rare. That's round one. I will go ahead and play round two. That way we'll have everything we need to qualify for this week in. And then uh, just depending on how timing goes and everything else, I don't have to worry about it. With that, we're going to wrap this one up. As always, if you have enjoyed this but haven't dropped a like or are not a subscriber, please consider those things greatly greatly appreciated by me it just helps the channel out and helps helps us get noticed and grow and i will see you next time